Hey guys, Thomas Lang here. This is an unboxing video. I just received a shipment from Audix microphones and I wanna show you what's in here, okay? Let's unbox these puppies. Okay, look at this, guys. I have some Audix swag here. I've got some nice shirts. Very nice. Thank you, Audix. I have a whole bunch of new clips for my microphones. I love these. As you can see at the moment, I have three kits set up, but sometimes it's four or five kits. So I'm running out of mic stands and these are lifesavers for me. They have the metal screws now, the wing nuts here. You can extend the gooseneck and manipulate it in any direction, any way you want. And these clip on, of course, straight to the rim. Thank you, Audix. This is great. These are great too. I love those. A D-Flex remounted clamp. They have a new clip that just uh, clips on like uh, the outside um, of a drum shell, for example, or on pieces of hardware. This is obviously where the mic goes and this clips onto anything. And of course you can rotate this and adjust the angle. I like to use these on my foot toys, my foot crasher. Sometimes I use uh, rattle toms and play them with pedals or pancake bass drums and things like that. So these are perfect for that. I love these clamps. So thank you very much. Boom. A152s with extended bass, uh, studio reference headphones. It's wonderful for us to have all identical headphones for everybody. So thank you, Audix. This is amazing. And I also have the A140 model and the 152. This looks like an important box. What's in it? Every studio needs this. Yeah! Fresh pot! Mm. Their coffee mugs sound amazing too. It's a shock absorbent table stand with programmable switch solid heavy base for condenser microphones and you have an on and off switch so you can press to talk and we'll use these for the control room this is the mg15 the gooseneck uh microphone cardioid that goes onto that heavy base that's a good loot for the first box Ooh, this is heavy heavy is good that's a good sign here we go what's in this Have a whole bunch of D clamps, which is great. These are, of course, for the D2s or D4s or D6s, whatever. Um, also, uh, ideal for my weird setups because, like I mentioned earlier, I have a whole bunch of weird drums in weird places sometimes, uh, and a lot of sort of pedal operated instruments. And these clamps are perfect for all that. They clamp onto any piece of hardware or on a shell directly or on a, a rim, so it gives me many options and allows me to mic all my weird drum sets very specifically and in a very bespoke manner. This is a ball and socket pivot shock mount adapter. A tiny little box, it may seem insignificant, but when you're miking rattletoms, for example, you know, these things become very important. You want uh, shock absorbers on your mini Ds. Okay, so I have a bunch of these. Thank you very much. Very important. Let's get to the good stuff. Okay, I5s. Of course, I use them on snare drums. I use them sometimes on uh, even snare bottoms. I use them on a bunch of my foot toys. They work on pretty much any drum, but of course a, uh, a favorite snare drum microphone of mine. I have a bunch of new D2 Tom microphones. Thank you, Audix. Love the D2s. These are all dynamic microphones. Some more D6s. These are for the big boys, for the kick drums, floor toms, gong drum. I love the D6. Uh, such a great microphone. Just a dynamic kick drum microphone, but it has the perfect scoop, you know, at uh, 500 hertz. You stick it in, boom, it sounds amazing. The new condenser OM3Ss. These have an on and off switch as well, which is great um, for me and my guests when we're recording here for Drum Channel. So we can switch the uh, vocal microphones on and off while we're playing. So it's great to have these. This is the L5 lavalier microphone. 
condenser mics. Beautiful, thank you. And then I have, oh yeah, baby. These are the SCX1HC microphones. So this is a condenser microphone, but the shorter version of the pencil mic that Audix makes. Perfect for like under a ride cymbal or between a closed, you know, hi-hat and a ride cymbal. Anywhere we have limited amount of space, you can use these puppies. These are wonderful, thank you. A133, large diaphragm condenser mic with pad and roll off. Absolutely amazing. One of the latest models. So thank you for these. And I have, of course, two of those. That's wonderful. A231, large diaphragm condenser mic. I use these as overheads, sometimes even for toms, as room mics, uh, vocal mics, anything. So these are absolutely incredible. Thank you very much. Here's another one of those. Thank you. Even their boxes sound great. A133, this is their large diaphragm uh, condenser mic with pad and roll off. So you can do a high shelf on this, uh, minus 10 dB uh, pad on this beautiful microphone. Thank you very much. Sound effect, please. Okay, here we have Oh, look at that. Beautiful. This is the A231 large diaphragm condenser mic. This will go right here. Check it out. Boom. Done. Done. It belongs there. I'll use it as an overhead mic. I'll use it as a room mic, close ambience. Vocals, of course, this is amazing. I can't wait to try these out. Actually, I'm gonna put the other one up right now. Siri match pair. Beautiful. <laughs> it's alive. CSX 1HC condenser pencil mic. Great for hi-hats, great as overheads. Percussion, toy, look at that. The short pencil mics. Some people call them cigar mics. SCX1HC, the best stogies around. Yum. Even that sounds good. I love these because, again, you can fit them into tight spaces. You know, the longer, regular sized ones. Uh, sometimes uh, you have to angle them strangely to uh, fit them between ride cymbals and close hi hats or something. But these shorter ones I, are perfect for my use here. And uh, thank you, Audix. You guys know this one. This is such a classic microphone. I don't know anybody who doesn't love the D6. This is a great kick drum microphone. So thank you, Audix. Here's an OM3S. This is a vocal microphone, but you can use it for anything. On off switch. Look at that. You can hear me now, but if I switch this off, you. On again, you know? Beautiful microphone. I have a lot of these, but I always need more because I have a lot of toms. Audix D2 Tom microphone, killer dynamic microphone. All my toms have D2s, uh, floor toms, D4s usually, sometimes D6 even. I have a lot of internal microphones too, all Audix mounted on the May uh, internal miking system. So I have options to either use the internal mic or an external mic or blend the two mics. So, ooh, oh yeah, look at this, beautiful. I won't just use them in the studio, I'll be traveling with these too. A152s, studio reference monitors. Ooh, and they're comfortable, ah. These, they're really soft, the cushioning is perfect, they're tight, so there's great isolation, uh, but they're not too tight, so I can wear my glasses and read when I'm in the studio and not get a headache after an hour or so, you know, because of the cans pressing too much, too much on my frame. So this is really great, very comfortable. Let's plug this straight into the microphone. Hello? Hello. Wow. wow. Sounds, Sounds amazing. amazing. Wow. wow. Thank you very much, Audix. Thank you, Chris Denogian. Thank you, Lofty. Everybody at Audix, I really appreciate this. These are wonderful additions to my studio and my sound. You guys are amazing. Thank you.